Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Lednap Gaming. It's mid-February. No, we're not yet on 317.6, but the way things are going, it sure feels like the title isn't a joke. I'll level with you here. This has been a hard video to make. I know right away some of you are already moving the mouse button to move on or unsub, but I want to challenge you to listen to the entire message here. We've been ready for 318 since, well, these signs went up. That sort of thing really isn't new. If you've been in the verse for a few years, you'll remember Invictus signage up for months. Big promised patches watered down or delayed. If we're honest, this really isn't that new. So why is this time different? Is it just I've finally had enough? No. The patina is certainly missing though. Where even the ISC episodes are just hanging out and getting to know folks on the new set because there just doesn't seem to be much going on. If you didn't know, CIG usually takes January off, which always makes sense with IAE and Sitcon falling at the end of the year. Usually the major patch gets dropped in December, so just like finals week, you need that break. While frustrating at times as a player, I salute CIG's commitment to their team giving them such a break. After the break, CAG then spends a few weeks sorting out priorities for the coming year. Which again is why longtime citizens don't panic about a lack of roadmap content or content at all until March. So why is this time different? Is it the PTU? In December, a number of citizens got the chance to try out 318, and we loved it. The early PTU is pretty rough, and that's normal. It rains. So there's no reason to start building an arc because the clouds are getting darker. Yet, if you're the third monkey, maybe it's time to start working your way closer to a potential build site. It's mid-February, and the PTU is still plagued by tram and elevator issues that make the patch entirely unplayable. New salvage mechanics are awesome, the new cargo UI is sweet, but only if you reach a hangar. The PTU doesn't seem plagued by issues rolling out new patch functions. I would understand if the salvage laser head wasn't working if you change shield positions. Yet we're talking about major steps backwards on features that have been working. Which isn't new. That's the problem though, right? At what point does CAG recognize they have a PR issue here? We've been promised pyro soon, since 2019. The Reclaimer has been in the game so long without the ability to do anything, it feels remarkably dated compared to the Vulture when you get to use it in the PTU, if you can at all. IAE has generally always been the forebearer of a major annual patch that turns the game into something new, but it has been delay after delay, and as someone who spent time in the PTU, it doesn't feel like the new features are broken, which puts CIG in a bind. They could strip out 318 features causing problems, say they'll come in a future patch, something they've done for years generating controversy. At least we would get our bread and games, new ships, new game loop, new UI. Or they could continue to push the release date back. It's a big patch, we're working on it. I think most of us would prefer this route, but if that's the way, they have to make some changes. Stop bleeding us and spend ISC and other marketing time giving us the truth. What's broken? What's causing the delays? Why PTU patch after patch are these things not working? Which is really all we're asking for. Transparency. We've been waiting a decade. We just want to know why. Because here's the truth about Star Citizen. It's never worked as advertised, and we have never cared. We've got some awesome new features in the works. Features we've never had when we had our favorite moments in the game. So you want to know what's different this time? Hope. I cannot remember a patch that I was more excited about to jump into the verse with the Dark Peak crew again. It's knowing that a fancy new UI won't matter against the laughter that comes from sneaking onto someone else's hammerhead and blowing it up at a key moment. Hope is the patch killer. Because as long as we believe we're just a week away, we wait. When we wait, we're not playing together. And it isn't the Reclaimer, it isn't the clouds of Hurston, or even the vast sums of UEC to be made at JT that have us log in. It's our friends. It's our ability to connect with one another and do things together. We'll keep waiting. We'll keep hoping. 
because someday soon these hallways will be filled again with other players. The anger and glee of a hotly contested JT will happen again. Pirates will figure out how to pirate in a new economic landscape, and the growing promise of persistence will continue to seep into our lives. The future is bright, for which we will continue to hope. Because that day could be any day now, and when that day comes, we'll forget about the wait. So hang in there. So let me know down in the comments what you've been playing while you wait. Share this message with your friends, and thank you for watching. I know this video was a little different than normal, but I want you all to hang in there. Reach out to your friends, and I will catch you all next time.